Okay. So. But let's start the show. We've got uh, Elaine Frost from Trusted Transitions and Brad Ross on the show, and, and you guys work together. And Brad, what's your company again before Mac we get into it? Max Sold. We, we sell the contents of homes that are in downsizing or estate sale situations, and we do a lot of work with Elaine to support her. Wow. So okay. that's a wonderful okay. fit for what you do, Elaine. It is. It's a wonderful fit. Okay, now we had you on not too long ago, Elaine. Right. So now what are we going to talk about today that's uh, a little bit different, uh, a, a progression from the last time okay. we were on the show? Um, what we're going to talk about today is a charity event that I'm heavily involved in. Uh, for the Canadian Diabetes Association okay. and Maxold is helping me out with that. So um, by way of background, in 2010, <coughs> later in the summer, I was diagnosed with diabetes oh, okay. and um, it seemed a little odd because I had a fairly healthy lifestyle. But my family had a lot of diabetes in it. Uh, my father, grandmother, grandfather had all had the illness. They'd had amputations and wow. loss of sight and all kinds of things. <laughs> okay. So um, after sort of getting the initial advice, I was, um, I, it was suggested, my doctor said, why don't we do an ultrasound? Mm -hmm. Just, I don't usually do it, but let's do it. And they did an ultrasound and they found a tumor on my pancreas and sort of rushed me to surgery to get it removed while it was still small enough to be removed. And that was all done and it was really successful. Um, now the pancreas is related to diabetes, yes, isn't it, is. it? The pancreas produces insulin, okay. which manages the glucose levels in your blood. And if the glucose levels aren't managed at the right level, then it attacks your organs, your blood vessels, um, and causes things like heart issues, uh, blindness, kidney failure, and so on, okay. and, and circulation, which is why the amputation mm -hmm. issue. Um, so after all that, it kind of came to me that, you know, kind of getting diabetes saved my life because it was the only reason they found that tumor. Wow. Well, you so had quickly. the diabetes already at yeah, that I point? Yeah, I had the diabetes, okay. and then they okay. found the tumor because they diagnosed me with diabetes. So uh, I joined, I, I started to volunteer with the Canadian Diabetes Association. Mm -hmm. And last year, because I was still celebrating being alive and well, I decided to go on a trek and so I hiked across Spain. I walked the Camino. Oh, you Santiago. did that? I go. I did. Boy, I, I've talked to a lot of people that have done that it's Camino. It's a fabulous, fabulous trip. I walked 800 kilometers. It took 33 days. You kind of uh, sleep in hostels, the biggest event was one night in a room with 90 other people in bunk beds and everything and you meet people from all over the world it, mm -hmm. it's a fabulous journey mm -hmm. so it was kind of my celebration of being alive again I came back from that trip and I was volunteering with the Canadian Diabetes Association and I noticed that they had a group called Team Diabetes. Mm -hmm. Team Diabetes is an active fundraising arm of the CDA which is short for Canadian Diabetes Association. Okay. And they um, have people sign up to do marathons and hikes both across Canada and around the world. And they fundraise to be eligible to be able to do that. And I looked at what was coming up and saw that there was a 24K hike into a crater in Iceland in August. A crater? And I thought, well, after walking across Spain, I think it would be good to hike 24 kilometers into a crater in Iceland. So that's what I'm doing this August and nice. have been working to fundraise sufficiently to be able to go. So first you hit on all your family and friends to help you out. Right. And um, the, I'm now in the next phase which is the partnership with, with Max Sold uh, which is hmm running an internet auction. So we have, Max Sold is um, an organization, an internet site that takes photographs and descriptions of lots the same way an auctioneer would, mm -hmm. post them on the web for a week, people can go in and bid, and at the end of the week, whoever is the highest bidder wins, mm -hmm. and then they come and pick it up and what take the win? stuff away. <coughs> oh, they win the, the lot, whatever it is they're bidding on. What, 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 what's involved in this lot? It's usually like household goods. It might oh, be a okay. bookshelf, it may be a table, a couch, okay. some clothes. 
Okay. So that's interesting. I, I mean, think we actually have some pictures from Elaine's auction. Uh, right now? Do we, Maybe just, not right now, but they're coming up. Oh, okay. Well, we can we can uh, look but at. I, look. I came to know Maxol because my clients who are downsizing, want to get rid of a lot of things. Mm -hmm. This is how we sell the things they want to get rid of. So you use Maxol oh, to do right. it, and here are a some of the items here that we're yep. looking at. Some of the things in in my auction. So, so where did you get all this stuff from? I got right. it from people who have donated it. I d got some of it by decluttering my own house. Oh, that's nice. I went that to, mirror. Um, some service organizations uh, I went to um, a body shop there they were donating um, now do you have a description of the items underneath yes. the, yep, the picture okay okay um, with measurements so that'd be a gift certificate a okay gift certificate okay oh it's actually these uh, <laughs> that last item wasn't in Lane's auction oh, okay <laughs> but oh. it's just a, you know so it sounds like you can get a lot of good stuff just going to max sold and, and checking yeah. it just out go max sold.com okay and uh, the auction goes live, I think, at 5 o'clock tonight. It goes at 5 o'clock tonight. So when, that, when you say live, what does that mean? It means you are able to register and bid. Okay. So okay. it's a very simple process. You go in, you register, you give them your credit card. It's very secure. And uh, then you can bid on whatever you want. So let's say you liked that mirror. Uh -huh. You would say, oh, that's a nice mirror. Every, every lot starts at $1. Yeah. Okay. okay, but you don't go in and bid two dollars. You would say, "I'd be willing to pay twenty dollars for that, for that mirror." So you go in and you bid twenty dollars. What will show up on the internet is that you bid two dollars, and if somebody else comes in and bids three dollars, then it'll automatically kick into four dollars for you, and it'll go for you as oh, up to the twenty dollar mark. I see. So you don't have to be sitting there all the time checking and seeing. Oh, you just put your upper limit in. You put your upper limit in. And and the but then you can go higher if you want limit. to though, right? Well, when it hits the upper limit, you'll get an email saying you've been outbid, and then you can say, oh, I really want it. I'm going to go for thirty dollars and move it up okay. to thirty dollars. Very nice. So, but it goes, but it automatically goes by dollar increments. Uh, it goes by dollar increments up to twenty dollars, and then it goes by five dollar increments. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that would take forever, I suppose, if you're going for a hundred dollars, right? Yes. 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 Okay. So when you say it's live, like how uh, how long does it go once it it starts at five? And it ends next Tuesday at twelve noon. So as I said, I've done this with many clients, and what's Fun is to be watching it between like 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock on the, the very last, last day, day. Yes, because then people really start to bid. Like a lot of people don't bid early on because they know no people are. They pressure. know. Yeah. But when it gets to 10 or to 12, um, it gets very frantic and frenzied. It can be a lot of fun. And also, if it comes to 12 o'clock and you're fighting with someone over that mirror. Um, Unless one of you drops out, the auction will continue past 12 o'clock. So if I'm the only bidder on a lot, the auction ends at 12 o'clock. Okay. Okay. But if, if you bid $30 for the mirror and I go in and say 35, you have two minutes okay. to say 40. Okay. So it can go very okay. active. And how do you, and very oh, but, live. You, but you have to be watching it live, right? You do it at 12 o'clock next Tuesday, yes. Right. So yes. If you're, or you'll get an email notification that you've been outbid, and then you can go in and raise your bid if you want to. But once at the, when the deadline hits, you better be on there live or you're yes. going to lose out, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so, very interesting. Um, now, is, is this Max Sold site, is this just for charity type items, or if you no, want no, as I said, I a can't garage even sale work with or, them okay. because of oh, my okay, clients. Right, okay, uh, trusted right. transitions right, where right. we're helping. Uh, well, we have another. I have another client's auction live right now. It's out in Mississauga, and okay. unfortunately, it's an estate. Okay. And there's a small family who didn't really want the contents of the house, so there are a hundred, uh, I think, around a hundred household lots um, available there. Wow. Now, question. Um, so let's say I'm the winning bidder. I get something, but I live in BC. So shipping, do I also get charged that? How does that work? We don't ship. You have to come and pick up. 
Okay, so it has uh, to be local the then, option somewhat of local. Contacting uh, third party shippers. So we on our website have okay. uh, some shippers listed that will act on your behalf, but it's up to you to contact the it's shipper. It's your responsibility For the most to get part, it. We're talking about ordinary household items. Um, that are, are going to be of most interest to people locally, kind of okay. like a garage sale. Okay. Um, but occasionally we do get people who are at a distance and they want something shipped. Maybe they're a collector interested in a mm -hmm. particular mm -hmm. piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so it's up to them then. So you're yeah. out of that part of it. You Absolutely. just recommend some people, some shippers, FedEx, whatever. Okay. Okay. But when they do do charity auc auctions, Max sold. Um, ensures that 100% of the bids go to the charity. So whatever you bid in, in this auction that okay. I have initiated is going 100% to the Canadian S Diabetes Association. So Maxwell doesn't take a cut? No. Okay, well. So now this money so is going to the Canadian Diabetes Association. And so uh, tell us a little bit about it. You're distracting me, Sorry. Santa. Sorry. <laughs> but Elaine, tell me about. Uh, Doesn't take much, you. I'm I'm fascinated with the crater uh, trip. Uh. <clears throat> well, um, I don't know that much about it yet, other than it's 24k, and in Spain we walked an average of 25 kilometers a day. So, so this it's is piece of cake I for you. Like I'll be a, as long as that crater isn't too high, I think it'll be a so semi what, piece of cake. What is a crater in in this? Like is this like a it's hole? It's like a volcano where there's a volcano. Do you remember they have volcanoes in uh, in Iceland? Mm -hmm. Do you remember a couple of years ago when they had the disruption of the oh, yeah. airlines oh, because okay. of the uh, so their whole this is dangerous, Elaine. You could uh, maybe they'll have they could you know, is it a live crater? Like is it hot? There are some uh, questions. It's better not to ask you. <laughs> okay, so she she cured she cured herself of diabetes, but she died in the crater. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just joking. No. Well, it sounds exciting. And, it does. And, uh, it yeah. is, and it's uh, there are a lot of people, a lot of participants from Canada going to um, Iceland, but there's also groups going to uh, Scotland and um, Amsterdam, I think, Coming and in from there. doing other wow. events there. And I'm already thinking about uh, 2014, where one of the events is a hike to uh, or up to Machu Picchu. So <gasps> Machu Picchu. Okay, so yeah. I heard that's a real risky one if you go up there. It's it's high. I, I know that. And balance-wise, it's not exactly safe. It's, apparently, it's only risky if you're planning to build a lucrative mine there. Okay, I don't get that. But the Canadian Diabetes Association is, um, you know, has a major mission to promote healthy living because that can uh, defer the onset of diabetes, possibly prevent it, certainly make living with diabetes uh, a safer proposition. So this is... Well, you know what, Elaine, well, from what my understanding, adult onset diabetes, so not the kind you're born with, right. but adult onset diabetes is diet related and can be turned around with diet. Not always. Not always. Not okay. always. Type well, two, that's type two diabetes. Yes. Type two, type one diabetes is normally starts when you're much younger and there's really nothing you can do about okay. it. Type two diabetes is what I have. Um, why did I get it? Nobody really knows. They don't really know what the cause is, but they do know that if you get exercise and you eat healthily, mm -hmm. you dramatically diminish the risk that you are going to get it. There was a study, and I heard this just two days ago, that this person took 30, this, this um, raw food person, took 30 people who were full-blown diabetes. What, type 1? Uh, no, type two. Okay. Okay. Um, the adult onset. So I'm assuming that's type, type two. two. Okay. Yes, okay. So they took them on this raw food diet. Okay. That lasted 60 days. Okay. Every single one of them was off their insulin. Every single one was was so-called cured. Then when they went back into their re regular life, they started back with their habits again, and they nine out of ten got them back. Nine out of ten. So only yeah. one stayed. You never really get 
cured because it's really a dysfunction of your pancreas um, that is what diabetes is. Okay. But you can manage it by eating the right, certainly eating the right things, eating the right quantities, not overeating, and, and getting that exercise. Yeah. So a lot of the time I spend volunteering now is doing um, Pro, talks in yeah. the community to try and educate people. About being proactive, right? And about being proactive and also telling people to get tested because we estimate that there you know, are millions of people out there who have diabetes or what we call pre-diabetes, yeah. which means they're borderline and they don't know it. And it's a simple blood test. What are some of the symptoms maybe that people might experience you know? if oh. they've got pre-diabetes? you know, pre -diabetes? Um, Some of the s symptoms can be um, thirsty. dry, dry mouth. mouth, thirsty, yeah. um, uh, frequent urination, uh, tiredness, um, How about leg cramps? I have a friend who gets leg cramps and he said that's due to his diabetes. That's quite possible. But there are also lots of people who have no symptoms. So when mm. I was diagnosed, I was stunned. I had no idea. Maybe somebody was just looking after you to, to deal with that uh, was cancer, after right? Me. Yes. Yeah. That's I'm right. just curious it, it, were there any improvements when, when they removed the tumor from the pancreas? Maybe that Good was question. causing some of the problem. No. Um, in fact, the tumor had caused, already caused part of my pancreas to atrophy. Oh, and they wow. cut it off. So I don't have a full pancreas like you might. So. I just said wow two more times. Oh, Sanders writing wow. That's what's going on here. Okay, so the the uh, the um, the uh, auction starts tonight at five o'clock. The auction starts tonight at five o'clock. And I've got just got a couple more questions about about Max sold in the auction um, because I mean it sounds like a, a, a unique. Uh, way to sell stuff, right? Yeah, absolutely, it's very innovative. It was uh, founded by uh, Barry Gordon, uh, who is a uh, comes from an auction family. They Wait, I mean, his name's not Max Sold. No. Oh, I thought it was, there was a real Max Sold. You should really uh, get like a character that. <laughs> yes, yeah. you should. Um, but no, Barry comes from uh, a family business, 50 years experience in the auction business, okay. and he saw how uh, uh, people in this sort of downsizing estate sale situation really weren't being well served today. Uh, the, um, you probably recall the uh, old style auctions where people would come out on a Saturday mm -hmm. and bid on mm -hmm. things. Uh, well that business is really dying because the, the goods really aren't worth as much and costs have gone up and that's why you don't really see those except out in the country at some places now. And so those people really weren't getting served well and he came up with this model that put all of the items up on the internet for bid and so yeah it's worked out really well. We've done auctions all the way from Ottawa through to Sarnia and uh, just in the last couple of weeks, we've had our first two U.S. auctions. Nice. So they're expanding very, very well. So it's a Canadian innovation? It is, yes, and How it long is. has it been around? Uh, this, they're going into their third year. Okay, so it's and, relatively uh, young. Yeah, the, 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 and the value of it uh, really comes on a number of uh, fronts. Um, one is that uh, there's a sort of a green component that so much of perfectly good stuff mm -hmm. was going to the landfill. Mm -hmm. like recycling. Um, because when people just didn't know what to do with it, yeah. so they you know, call a junk removal firm firm, um, and that's unfortunate. Perfectly good stuff. Uh, and so we find some clients aren't even so worried about what kind of money they'll get from it. They just don't want to throw perfectly good stuff away. Mm -hmm. Well, one um, person's junk is another person's jewel or something, yeah, absolutely. right? Well, it's interesting that you mention that, that uh, oftentimes when we go into houses, and you've probably seen this, Elaine, mm -hmm. somebody will be saying, oh, that's just garbage. And you'll say to them, no, people will buy that. Um, mm -hmm. uh, like, for instance, uh, old suitcases are really popular to turn into other things like planters, oh, furniture, yeah, that's a great or whatever. Idea. Um, and anything that's kind of 60s vintage is very popular now. Yeah. yeah. Um, so huh. yeah, it, it's uh, it's kind of fun what you find in uh, in people's houses. Now, is it always for estate sales or for no, fundraising? No, actually, uh, any time there's a, a volume of goods that somebody mm -hmm. wants to uh, sell, uh, we can help them in those situations. So business sale. liquidations, yeah. inventory turnovers, reductions. Um, any time you uh, have a... Uh, 
lockers. Yeah, absolutely. Good Store point. Storage, storage lockers. lockers. Yeah, that's right. So forget storage about those wars. storage wars. Yeah. Uh, just uh, call you guys yeah. and uh, get her done. Well, it's storage right? wars yeah. on the internet, really. Yeah. 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 Yep. So you can, if you go mm, on to maxold.com, you'll find that uh, frequently there's storage lockers, and you can look at the photos, and you can do your own home game of storage wars. Have nope. you? Have you? Oh, go ahead. Oh, sir. Have you go. ever had anybody um, come back and say, "Okay, well, I got this item, but it's not like the picture, and I don't like." it and I want to return it can you do is it no exchange or how does that work sometimes if uh, by chance there's an error and it's the wrong photo or lots of change we've have had to make some corrections but pretty much the it's a photo of what's there people have usually have an opportunity to come see what what the, the item is um, and so for the most part you know what oh, you're getting wait a second so people can come see so do you have your stuff laying on display somewhere I do not okay but in the normal auction context there is a preview event so I have an oh, auction going on for a client tonight okay. or right now and tonight between 6 and 8 30 there's a preview of it in Mississauga it has okay. a car in it for example oh my. so people can go out and take a look at the car and uh, go for a spin know, make a Test. closer a closer decision wow okay We've okay. even uh, done uh, auctions for organizations like, for instance, Fort Henry. Mm -hmm. They had to clear out a, a warehouse, uh, and that actually was one of our, probably one of our more unusual items in there. They had one of those uh, old carnival fortune teller machines. Nice. You, you know, remember Zoltar? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I've been looking for one of those. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> actually, we have some photos of some of the unusual items that uh, we've seen on Max Sold. Okay. It might be fun to look at. And while we're getting that ready, uh, what you, you mentioned there's a okay. Okay, so here's one item here. Uh, so, for instance, we've sold armor, medieval armor. I already have one of those, though. Is that a staircase? Uh, a spiral staircase that you could come disconnect and, and take it out. A nice gorilla statue. Oh, I have no, a use for that. Yeah. I have. <laughs> uh, there you go. There's Zoltar. Uh, that, that actually got bought on Max Soul. Oh, wow. Yeah, and uh, this was a safe where uh, they had years ago forgotten the combination. Oh, and there's so that. I had no idea. That nails oh, and, thing again. Oh, and uh, <laughs> this is a. Uh, what is that? Uh, a, is that a uh, drum? Just a decorative box made oh. of porcupine quills. Oh, I've seen those before. No yeah. porcupines were hurt in the making of that decorative no, box. No, they're uh, picked while well, they're still alive. I, I believe that uh, they donated their porcupine quills. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, so that's now you mentioned there's a minimum lot. Uh, it's uh, is there like a, a, a what is the limit or how do you know if you've got the limit? Oh, you you oh, in of, when you're bidding? No, of the uh, uh, if you're selling a lot, you have to have a minimum lot. Okay. Well, there's a, a, in the typical situation with a household or a business liquidation, uh, the. Uh, it is subject to minimums, so there's a $1,000 uh, minimum and $10 per lot. So there are minimums involved. So we're really talking about a volume of goods. If you only have uh, a few things, you know, you want to sell a couch and maybe a stereo, uh, well, there's other places you can do that, Kijiji and okay. uh, Craigslist yeah. and so forth. Okay. But no, when you when uh, you get into a volume of goods, that's where Max Sold really becomes okay. a better solution. So MaxSold.com is the website for that. And Elaine, you mentioned about the minimum. Did you want to talk about no, that? No. The minimum for the bidding? Because no, we minimum, went over that. The minimum cost on all of it is one dollar. Yeah. The bidding all starts for each, at $1. For each lot. So That's you right. could get some good stuff for a dollar. Yeah. You're, you're right. You can. And where is your stuff located? Where do they in have to go pick it up? Okay. It'll be in a Tobacco. Okay. 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 So yeah. good and the location. Mon and the yeah. money's going to the CDA. That's Canadian right. Canadian Diabetes, Diabetes Association. Assist. Starts at five o'clock tonight. And, and your journey, though. It's it's to fund your journey. To fund my journey to Iceland. Yes. And how much money do you think you need for that? Um. Well, the minimum you have to raise is sixty-one hundred. Okay. Oh, that's an interesting amount. Sixty-one yeah. hundred. Yes. That's great. Mm -hmm. Well, good and luck. Tonight. Where are you Thank at you. right now? Can we ask that? Oh, I'm. I'm You're halfway, still a quarter away, away. No, I'm more than halfway there. But oh, uh, good for you. I'm looking for some good that's bidding great. and some uh, <coughs> people to bid well on. So bid high and bid often. Okay. Yes. So it starts tonight at five and yep. goes till Next again. Next Tuesday, the fourteenth at twelve noon. So people okay. can, even if they're seeing this after the fact, mm -hmm. they can go yes. and find out about it. Now, where do they go? To uh, to look at the stuff either online, maxsold.com, and that's it. It's yep. going to be right There's up no front and center. Just, if they say they're in Toronto yeah. or mm -hmm. 
the Toronto vicinity, they'll see that auction up front, and they'll also be able to peruse the other auctions that are open because there's yeah, there's, several, there's probably yeah. a, ten auctions that are open at any given time. Okay, great. And also, people, of course, I know we haven't really touched about trusted transitions, but if they want to get in touch with you to deal with their uh, aging parents uh, and uh, making the transition, where do they go for that? www.trustedtransitions.com. Dot com, and they it's can see that other interview service. we did and uh, find That's out right. all about that. That's right. Okay, guys. Okay. Nice Thanks for doing this. Nice and for good, good luck. Good luck. Wow. And in fact, can you take, take some pictures? video. Okay. I will. Yeah. I'll and come back, back after all this. That would be so cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. I okay. will. Wow. Safe awesome. journey. Thank you. Okay, we're going to take a little break now, and um, then we're going to come back with Carmen. Okay, Yay, so astrology, let's play. The eclipse. I don't know what we have to play. Do we have anything to play? Probably not. So we're just going to take a break now. Okay. And we'll be right back. We'll find something. <laughs> Are you downsizing or an estate trustee? Have lots of items to sell? Well, there's an easy solution. It's called Max Sold. And here's what our customers have to say. I've been trying for over a year to sell my clients um, items. I tried Craigslist. I tried um, on-site warehouse sale. Nothing worked. And Max Sold approached me. I was very skeptical. I felt so responsible for my clients items. And I was just hoping to gross about $3,000 in the sale to be able to cover the cost that we had spent already on trying to market their items. And when the sale grossed um, almost $10,000, I was ecstatic. I still am ecstatic, and I'm still talking about it. So thank you, Max Sold. Thank you. Okay. Max Sold is a way to go. And we've proved it with our family and our downsizing. It's, it's excellent. Okay. We had to get rid of a lot of things in a short period of time because not only had we just moved in and completed a renovation, we're now moving out. So we considered other options, but looking at all in all and based on the recommendation of a friend of mine who has a home staging business, we chose Max Sold. So I have to say the service has been exemplary from beginning to end. Uh, the staff are friendly, professional, they stay in contact and they're helpful through every stage of the process. So I've, I've done this with my clients and they've been super happy and the uh, amount that they got for their goods exceeded their expectations. Uh, and the best of all is they sold everything. No fuss, no muss for us. No yard sales, no Kijiji, we're finished. And the excess furniture from large pieces of furniture down to very small items formed up the lots that b became part of the auction. Now, it was fun to watch the auction take place because I monitored it online so I could see what was happening, and I really felt engaged in the process. Call Max Sold now for your free, no-obligation consultation and learn how we can help you with all your downsizing, sale, estate sale, or business clearance needs. 